Well, today's question on what does it really mean is, what does God's will really mean? It's a loaded question, but let me give you a simple answer. One said it this way, the will of God includes everything that God desires or wishes to happen in heaven and on earth. I love that. See, as a result, he has planned what he wishes to occur. For example, in the first part of the Lord's Prayer found in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus teaches us to pray that the Father's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's found in Matthew 6, 9 and 10. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Well, the Greek word for will is thelma, and the word means what one wishes or has determined will happen. That is, we are to pray that God has his wish, his will, or his plans fulfilled. So that means that your life and plans should agree with his plan. And when some people think about maybe the will of God, they're afraid that God's decided every little detail of their life, but that actually isn't true. He's not already decided everything in your life. God does control many aspects of your life, but he gives us so much freedom. Here's a helpful way to think about it. God's will is like a road. He doesn't care if you walk on the road on the right side or on the left side or down the middle. He doesn't care if you jump or skip or jog or walk fast down the road. He doesn't care if you sing at the top of your lungs or if you're silent, but he does care if you leave the road. He wants you to always stay on the road that he's planned for you. And each one of us has a different road to travel. The road is actually God's will for our life. The road, it will turn and it will twist, but his plan will be accomplished. Here's our part. We need to desire what God desires. And that keeps us on the road and in the will of God for our lives. And that's what God's will really means.